The next step in the reduction method is to pair up all of our edge pieces around the cube. In this video, I'm going to show you how we pair up the first eight edges. So after we've solved all of our center pieces around the cube, the next step is to pair up all of our edge pieces. The method that I'm going to teach you to solve the first eight edges is known as the free slice method. Much like solving the center pieces, pairing up our edges on the 5x5 is also mostly intuitive and we don't need to learn any complicated algorithms. You may recall that on a 4x4 cube, we just needed to pair up two edge pieces at a time, so that is this edge piece with this edge piece, and we could essentially treat them as the exact same thing. However, on a 5x5, as I've described in the second video in this module, there are two basic types of edge pieces. So there are the midge edges, the middle edges, known as midges, which lie directly between two centers. So if you draw a line from one centerpiece to another, to another middle centerpiece, the midges are these ones in the middle. And then besides the, beside the midges, there are two wings next to it. For each midge around the cube, so let's say we're looking at the white and orange piece, there will be two wings with those colors on them. And here they are in the top layer in this case. So we have this wing with white and orange and this wing with white and orange. So for every midge, there'll be two accompanying wings. So a little bit more about the free slice method. Essentially, we're going to be using wide moves or slice moves around a particular axis of the cube as a working ground to help us pair up the first eight edges. So here, for example, I'm doing slice moves around the E axis of the cube. And we will would, we would do this to actually pair up, you know, these midges with these wings and create solved edges. On the top layer and the bottom layer, there are four spaces where we can place our solved edges. So one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four. And as we're solving the edges and pairing them up, we actually don't need to resolve these center slices as we're just using these four spaces on the top and these four spaces on the bottom to store our edges. However, one restriction with the free slice method is because these centers are unsolved, whenever we move a face, an outer layer face, one way, we'll always need to move it back after we finish using it. So let's start pairing up our edges and we're going to be using these slices as our working ground for pairing up edges. When you just start out pairing up edges, a very basic technique that you can use is to look at the midge on this front left slot and then find its two wings and attach them to this midge. So let's just do this one as an example. We've got this white and orange midge here and the two white and orange wings, as I mentioned before, are up here in the top layer. Now we need to figure out how to move these two and attach them to this midge. So we're going to do them one at a time. Now look, let's look at this first one here. It's white and orange up here. So if we want to just insert it up here and then try and slice and attach it to this one, then we'll end up with an incorrectly connected pair like this. So if we undo that, we need to now recognize that there's only one correct way we can attach, we can attach this wing to this midge piece. And as we saw then, this wing doesn't belong here if this midge is in this orientation. This wing actually belongs down here in this position, and this wing over here belongs up here. So how we're going to recognize that is by looking at the color of the sticker on the top face of the wing and the color of the sticker on the front face of the midge. Now, if they're the same like this, that means that when we do R U prime R prime to attach this one, then these two colors will be the same on the front. So when we slice, this color won't attach to this one. So if you could follow that, that means that we'll need to figure out how to insert this piece down here. So what we can do is just do F R prime F prime R. So looking again at these two stickers, so the one on the front face of the midge and the one on the top face of this wing, only when this is in the left slot. So F R prime F prime R. Now we can use a slice move to attach it down there. And now we need to find our other white and, white and orange uh, wing piece, and it's up here. And let's look at the top sticker, white, white. So again, we'll need to use F R prime F prime R to put it up here. And now we've solved one entire edge piece. So now that we've completely solved this edge piece, we should store it in the top layer by simply doing something like R U R prime or R U prime R prime. 
And this will be more important later on when you're solved, when you have more edge pieces solved. But it's important that when we take this out, that we replace it with an unsolved edge. If this was solved and we did R U prime R prime, then this would bring, bring this one down into our free slice and we'd actually break it up if we wanted to solve another edge piece. So now that we've solved this one, let's look for what we're going to solve next. And let's do, let's look at this midge on the left hand side here. It's the red and green midge and the red and green wings are here and up here. So this is the red and green wing and this is the red and green, green wing. However, if we look down here, this red and green wing is already attached to its midge, but it's in the wrong position. So this one actually needs to go up here because we can see it's incorrectly paired up. So the way in which we're going to deal with this is actually use our free slice to replace this one with this one. So let's look at the colors. This one and this one are the same color. So green and green, the front sticker here and the, front, and the top sticker up here. So we're going to bring this down by doing F R prime F prime R. Then what we can do is slice this one over here. So this will now attach to this wing correctly and replace this unsolved one. Now what we need to do is figure out how to attach this piece up here to complete the solved edge. So I guess this is where the one important algorithm comes in and you may remember it from the 4x4 tutorials. It's basically an algorithm for flipping an edge piece in its place. So here, if we have these two, this block, this red and green block, if we want to flip it from this position up to this position, then what we can do is do R U R prime F R prime F prime R. And if I undo that, the reason we want to do that is actually so that we can slice back and attach this red and green wing to this block here. So if we do R U R prime F R prime F prime R, then we can slice and create this. Alternatively, we could also grab this edge, this wing here, do the same moves to flip it from the bottom to the top and then slice it and create this edge. So now that we've solved this edge, we're going to put it in the top layer by taking out an unsolved edge from the top layer and we're going to going to continue working on our edges. Now, this time, let's try something a little bit different. So previously, we were looking at this midge and then trying to find the two accompanying wings and try and solve them. But in this case, that's a little bit difficult because this, this midge is blue and red. The other one's over here and the other one's here on the bottom layer. So it would, it's obviously a little bit inefficient to try and do that. We noticed that when we solve this one and put it out into the top layer, that these two pieces came into this front right slot here. So this white and green block. So essentially what we need to do is find the last white and green wing piece and attach it to these ones. Now let's have a quick look around on the top layer. So these two are solved. We only need to look here and here. There's no white and green piece here. On the back, there's no white and green piece. So what we're going to do is actually flip over the entire cube like this and then look for the last white and green wing around this top layer. And in fact, it's right here. So what we're going to do, if we need to put this piece down to this position, again, is F R prime F prime R. Now we can slice to attach this wing to these two. And again, we can just store it in this bottom layer. So remember, in this bottom layer, we actually had no solved pair, uh, no solved edge pieces stored here yet. So we can just take it out like that and then continue on. Remember also on this layer here, we have two edge pairs stored. So let's continue on, continue on with our edge pairing. And what I see is this midge and this wing. So we've got this orange and green midge and this orange, and, uh, sorry, this green and yellow midge and this green and yellow wing. And because these two colors are different, as in this green is not this yellow, then that means we can just do one slice move and attach it because this yellow sticker will come from the left face to the front face like that. So now what we need to do is look for the last uh, green and yellow, green and yellow wing piece. And it's actually right over here. Again, it needs to go down into this bottom position. If we had something like this, where if we, if we had this block on the bottom left here, and this one needed to go into this front right, this top right position, what we could just do is even easier than that, R U prime R prime. So that's for the case where this sticker and this sticker are different. So R U prime R prime inserts this, and then we can slice and solve our three edge pieces like that. Again, what we're going to do is continue on with our edge pairing. So we can take it out by doing R U prime R prime, which brings this, uh, this block down into the front right slot here. 
Now, one thing we noticed about this was that these two wings were actually paired, were actually paired together. So this red and green wing and this red and green wing are correctly solved relative to one another. So in order to create the triple edge, the tredge, what we need to do is actually find the last middle edge to attach it to this, these two red and green wings. And just looking at these two middle edges, neither of them are red and, red and yellow. That's not red and yellow, that's not red and yellow, that's not red and yellow. So we can flip over the cube again, and here it is. That's the red and yellow middle edge. So what we can do is look at the colors here. So these are red, this is uh, yellow. So we can just do R U prime R prime, which means that these two stickers are equivalent to this sticker on the right hand side. So when we slice and slice, we create this triple edge. Now remember, always, always keep in mind that these centers, uh, we need to preserve these centers or at least these slices. So whenever we do any sort of R move, we always need to do a U prime and then R prime or U R prime or something like that to preserve the orientation of these centers because we eventually we need to resolve them after solving our first eight edges. So then we've got this one solved. Let's take it out. And now notice on this layer, we actually have three stored edge pieces and we only have one more which we can fit on this layer. Here we have two stored. So that means we have three more edge pairs to solve before we finish up the first eight edges. So let's go back to our original method just, uh, just to reinforce that. So let's look here. We've got this midge. This is the red and blue midge. And we need to find the two red and blue wings around our cube and attach them to this midge. So this is like the, the most, most basic, simple, fundamental method for attaching, for, for solving an edge pair on a five by five. So we've got this midge. Let's look around for the uh, red and blue wings. We've got one here and we've got the other one over here because I noticed there were no red and blue pieces here. So I may as well flip it over to look for the others. And we've got this one here and this one up here. Now what we can do, because this, these two colors are blue, if we slice it directly like that, then we'll get this inconnected pair, with this incorrectly connected pair. So what we need to do first is actually flip this edge piece in its place by doing R, U, R prime, F, R prime, F prime, R, then slicing, which creates this solved pair. Now what we need to do is find the last one. So the last red and blue one is over here. When you're starting out, it'll take you quite a while to actually look for and find these um, specific wing pieces that you're looking for, but don't worry, that'll get better with time. Um, so we need to insert this one down to the bottom right position here so that we can slice it over to attach to these two. So R U prime R prime, slice. Now we've got these ones. Let's go again, put it into the top layer. Remember, remember whenever we put a solved edge pair piece into the top layer, a solved edge pair into the top layer, we need to replace it with an unsolved edge, like so. Now let's look again here. We've got this white and red, and we've got white, a white and red wing right here, and these two colors are different, so we can just slice it like so and create this block. Now we need to look for the last white and red wing. A simple process for looking for the last white and red wing would be to look here for, at the unsolved edge. There's no white and red wing here. Look around the middle layer and we found that this white and red wing is over here. Now these two, this one is in the middle layer, but this one is in the, the second layer from the top, as is this one. So if we, were to, if we were to do a big slice, so that is a U2 slice like that, then this one would just be replaced by this one and it would be incorrect. So what we can do is either flip this block or flip this wing to put it into the bottom layer. So we can rotate over here. We've got this front right slot, R U R prime F R prime F prime R, which flips this wing from this position to this position. So now when we do a wide D2 using our slice, we create this block and we can attach it to this piece. I mean, we can uh, insert it into the top layer and now we've got these four edge pairs all solved. So what we can do is flip over and we only need to solve one more edge pair to store it here because these three are also solved. You will notice that as you complete more and more edge pairs during a solve, it'll get easier to find certain pieces that you're looking for. So let's just go again. We've got this white and blue. Now we need to find the two white and blue wings. This is the white and blue midge. Um, the two white and blue wings, if, I, if we have a quick scan around the cube, are over here and up here. Now here, because these two colors are different, we can just slice like that and attach these two. And now we've got this white and blue wing. We need to put it into this position because these two colors are the same. We can go F, R prime, F prime, R. 
slice it. Now we've got these all paired up. And now what we need to do is insert these into the top layer, but we need to um, insert it by taking out an already, uh, an incorrectly solved edge. So for example, if we take out, take it out like this, that's, that's not much use to us because we're putting a solved edge from the top layer into the middle layer. So what we need to do is put an unsolved edge here and then do R U prime R prime. And then what we do after that to complete our first eight edges and all of our centers is resolve the centers around this slice. So in this case, this bar and this bar are already connected. So all we need to do is do a wide D2 to restore our center pieces. And now we've got eight edges stored, four on the top layer, four on the bottom layer like this, and we only have four edge pairs left to solve around our middle layer.